Welcome everyone to World Box. I bought this game because I uh, I wanted to, and I realized how well it could be for my channel, being a history simulator. We're starting this world with several different factions, and we're gonna do 10 minute time lapses of this world every time we play it. All right, I'm gonna like work around for 10 minutes, and then we start the games, and we watch we watch it go for 10 minutes. Of course, I will, uh, I will be moving around. No, it's not gonna. We're gonna. I'm gonna be setting it. At, we're not gonna really do a time lapse. We're so gonna use the hourglass feature, setting it to five times, so I can like zoom around and it will kind of look like it's on a time lapse. I already started. Move, put some civilizations down. I can find some. I mean, there's some dwarves right here. They're hiding under the trees. But we're gonna start it now. And as you can see, we're gonna put the. You can see we have the city of. Veskeen, a human civilization. The city of ne Negord. But orcs. Oh. Well, there should be something there. Oh, we got a, another orc city of Zagador. We have a human city of Chikabawaka. Oh, then we have a um, another human city, I think. Yeah, Hiskin. A dwarven city with only one pop. Which, that needs to be remedied. No, <laughs> There we go. And then we've got an, an elven city of Bahame Fry for Hard Misses. A sink, which we'll have to we'll have to fix. Ugh. I like how the human's noise from being birth can be war. Like the word is just war. Oh, here's a human city. No, a dwarven city. It see, look, no, it's a, just another elven human city. We're actually gonna add some dwarves up here so they can have a little bit of territory to themselves. <laughs> yeah, in the city of Estil, you can even build it. Let's check on our populations over here already. Wow, these guys haven't advanced much. Was well, it because they probably because they live in a desert? Oh, they're starving to death. Um, oh, they'll eat, they eat animals, so I'll give them some rabbit. Oh, well. The first civilization is dead. I'm not gonna allow that. That doesn't seem fair. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. I'll let them live at Zopcot. Zopcot. <laughs> that's. I love that name. There you go. There's Zopcot. And there's some smaller islands here. Oh, there's a dwarven city here. Uh, Ed Edrum. Edom. Wait. Erdom. Erdom. And then the the human cities up here. Oh my! There's I've been a war up here evidently, and they uh conquered each other. Oh wow! These guys are doing pretty well. What are these civilizations doing? Got geez, twelve population. These guys are blasting through civilizations. Oh, the elves already have farms built. Humans are doing okay. <laughs> We've already lost several orcs to civilizations. Okay, these guys are doing pretty darn well. Yeah, well, I think we're gonna. Give some dwarves. I feel bad. For dwarves. I love dwarves. They're my favorite. Yeah, look at all these dwarf. Look at this dwarf city over here of Askew. Look how well they're doing. And we got these two. The, wow, this the this civilization. Let's check their. Wow, let's check their pot. Let's check it. Chippy walk. They have total pot. They have two cities. I think. Yeah. Let's see, we're gonna. Get it. Why did the cat make no noise except for the thud when it hits the ground? It's weird. These guys are doing pretty well. Let's check them out. Oh. I see the thud. These guys have one city, eleven houses. Oh wait, this isn't the. But they have them. Look at this. We got one. They're doing pretty good. Let's. I feel bad for their other their ancestors that were starved to death. But look at that. Now they have um, a farm so they can get food, right? Oh, it's so quiet. Why don't these guys make ambient noise? Did I turn ambient noise off? Yeah, if you like this map, I spent about an hour on it. And it's a really nice map. Oh, human civilization. The first colonization. See, oh my gosh, this city, these guys are gonna crush it. They're doing very well, and so are these dwarves. Let's check out this. Look at this. There's a, These elves are already going to war with these uh, this human. But they lost very quickly. Yeah. These guys are doing pretty okay. Okay, so as you can tell, this city's almost already 
This one's already- this is the first 20. This guy's the first 20s. Oh, wow! Uh, okay, changing- not that. These guys are the first 20s and the first 50s. This civilization- Jeez, man, jeez, let's check on this- Okay, so, the- the Z Zagador, I'm gonna call him... La. Oh my gosh, what is this? I've gone through this twice today! Click, 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 okay, lot. Oh. Pop. That's their new society name. Okay. <laughs> Lots of pop! So yeah, it was, they won't have any challenges, really, because no one's near them, until the enemy starts settling near their civilization. These elves, this this elf, these elves are just like, no, we're building a city here beside your city of Hassan. These, oh man, these dwarves are whooping butt. They're building, they've already got 32 population. And a nice building, city site. These guys only have 21. They're not doing as well as the orcs or, or the dwarven states. There's a dwarven city down here. And then we got Zopkod. Oh my gosh, the, the city of Zopkod is going to send a colony. Let's put a, uh, let's click the little favorite marker, and we're gonna... Favorite does... Dizza! His name is Dizza. Okay, let's... Well, I think he'll probably end up having to settle here. Oh. Oh, it's in human settlement. He might starve to death before he reaches the mainland. But these, this elf human city is doing pretty well. Lotto Pop is doing much better. Look at this. Look at that society. Look at these dwarves over here. The dwarves are doing pretty well. Okay, here comes our the orc settler. He might starve, or she. Oh, yeah, she's starving to death. It's oh God, jeez, whoa! Did you see those humans? They just annihilated that guy for poor lady. Okay, let's check these. Oh, okay. Those are good borders. But these dwarves, I'm surprised they haven't started blitzkrieging through the enemy yet. They're almost at fifty. So these guys probably are at sixty. Oh, they're only at seventy. They're only at fifty-seven. I feel like that the uh, dwarves over here might catch up to them. These elves are not doing very well. I'm gonna give them some stone. Okay. Hey, buddies. Let's see. Let's see. That never happened. All right. Okay, we're gonna just. Click this button, and we're gonna click that. We're gonna <laughs> tiny bits of stone, and then replant their trees because that I feel bad for not for destroying all of those trees. And they're the elves, okay? They're elves. They love trees. There you go, guys. Your trees are bad. actually. They it doesn't seem like they like that trees that much. Look at this. They're just tearing them apart. Whoa! The first humans, one of the er earliest human cities to reach. Okay, so as you can tell, there's a, a lot of, oh, a lot of good cities over here. But as you can tell that this, the, uh, this society is doing pretty well. But this, look at this. They exploded with population. They went up 20 population in like 10 seconds. This is insane. Okay, and then, then we've got this over here. Okay, we got this civilization over here. Tabor. They're doing pretty okay. I mean... There's a, a war going on over here. As you can see, this empire of Hessin is marching in on the enemy empire of Yebeko. Their troops are moving in from the north, and they're tr and overwhelming the defenses. Oh, a small armistice is held. And then the battle begins. The troops have advanced in the bottom, t tearing down the city. And there's no way for Yebeko to survive. Yebeko has fallen to the mighty Hessin state. But as you can tell, the the <coughs> the dwarves over here are doing pretty well. It's a little risky idea to I don't know. Put the fire right beside your crops. It's a little it's funny. And these guys are doing pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. We got down down here. Then let's check on lots of pop. Almost a hundred! I think we'll wait. We'll finish this whenever lots of pop reaches a population of a hundred. Because that would that would be a good spot to end the episode. So as you can tell that the there's a lot of oh look, look I think this is an orc settlement. Oh yeah, these orcs just came over and beat the crap out of some humans. I'm not gonna aid, you don't I'm not gonna aid them anyone anymore. 
Then we got, oh, this is another orc city of lots of pop. Oh, they, don't, they just lost the population to just send it out again to colonize. Jeez, this is Great Britain. You know what? They're, they're getting a new name. They're getting Great Britain. Right Orkton. Gray. Oh my gosh, what in the name of Sam Hill is this? Great. Oh my gosh, this is wasting so much of our time. Ork. What? <sighs> Ork. Ten. This is insane. Okay, we've got Great Orkton. Instead of Great Britain, it's Great Orkton. Because they're orcs, right? Oh, oh, oh! A human war! Okay. The dwarves are being are being attacked by the humans, obviously, because humans are manifest. Oh, that's an orc city. Well. See, this city? That city's screwed. Oh, oh, oh! 95? 96? 97? 98? 99? 100? Wow! Great Orkton is the first society to reach 100 population. And that it would be the end of our episode. You can tell Tibor. So let's pause the world and see what happened. So, as you can see, this population grew. This one did. Now you can tell that this orc, the dwarves are doing pretty well up in the north up here. The humans are probably going to end up fighting a massive front over these mountains because for that territory. Same with these humans. Okay, what are these? What are these guys? I can't tell. Well, let's check what these guys are, because I want to know what they are. We got an elf village up here. We only have one elf civilization, so they better survive. And you can tell that Zalkot has barely made it, that, uh, because there was obviously never a civilization there. And then you got your, then you got this war going on, the societies of Cigar Isk and Adil, Adil are fighting in a brutal fight over this slap it away. You guys, not doing that well. They're not doing that well. Oh, so evidently, let's check these guys. So these empire, Ket, Red, Zoraz, have actually um, colonized into their society. And then you can tell... Which is interesting because they have such a low pop. And then you can tell oh, Great Orkton. Let's check their king. Leader. A favorite on the leader. Okay, look at that. Great Orkton. Look at how much many pop much resources they have. Village age is 22 with 125 born. And a population of 107. And then you got this city over here. This orc, this dwarven city. I'm doing pretty okay. But you can tell the best cities are... Treat Tabor. Well, we can actually just check it. Oh, wait. We can check the best kingdoms, right? Kingdoms. God, Gaza. Gaza. The, um. Well, the, um. Great Orkson. Then we got um, two human societies. Let's see their population. 100. Oh! Their capital. Let's check their capital. Only 53. So that means they have at least. Oh, this society? They have a lot more cities, and they have a higher total population, but not as much as Orkson. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And then, yeah, that's not the button. But you can tell, wait, i got to get rid of this dragon. Oh, you can't get rid of him. Well, you can tell that there's a lot going on, and look at this. Two Orkton cities. Okay. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this quick episode of Squirrel Bob.